This is the Cursed Checkpoint from HorribleNight.com. Uh, tonight's episode, we are going to revisit the recent release of Thief and uh, talk a bit about the stealth genre, where it's at, where we want it to go. That kind of thing. Shh, we're talking about stealth. <laughs> but I should turn off all the keep lights. It, keep That's it cool. down. Um, I'm, I'm your host, Justin Lacey, joined tonight by Aaron McNeil. Sneaky Steely. That was my high school nickname. That's... That, it sounds like you have some very. I nar- gave it to myself. Your, I think your friends are narcs, and then my um, friends are narcs. And the hooded one, <laughs> Jordan Wilson. I'm not here. I'm in the shadows. It's, it's your fault that we're here. My gym is dark. It's my fault. Like so, we we've, always we've talked about Thief on some previous podcasts, and I believe one of those may have convinced you to actually buy and try the game. But you're also the first person that I know of that has finished the game. So, <laughs> why'd you finish Thief? It was a good. It's a good game. I uh, <laughs> trying to think of like trying to think of like what even um, drove me to it. I watched a because uh, I, I wasn't gonna buy it. You know, the game. I'm not a real big uh, day one purchaser. So mm-hmm. that when the game came out, you know, it was sixty bucks. wasn't on sale anywhere. And then I watched someone start doing a playthrough of it in the very beginning of the game. Um, Garrett uh, walks up to a painting that's on a wall and feels around on the edges of it and then uh, starts to pick the lock and I just immediately had uh, Skyrim, like uh, the Thief Skilled flashbacks because I had just just finished my complete Skyrim playthrough and the last thing that I did was the Thief Skilled. For almost... As much sneaking as you did, it always ended with you killing everybody. I think I've mentioned this before in a podcast. Very violently. Like... Yeah, they, it'd be like, well, we need you to go to this cave and, uh, you know, steal this thing. But it's just you walking into the cave and killing everyone and then looting everything in the cave. There was one mission, though, where there was a, uh, um, it was like the Honey Glow Island or something like that, where you were supposed to sneak into the island and then light some... Um, Honey Glows? Uh, some bee nest or whatever they're called. Yeah, on I, yeah, I, like beehives on fire. I yeah, now understand yeah, but, the name of the island, then. Yeah, because it was like you're getting paid to disrupt the honey flow of some meteor, meteor or something like that. But, I, man, that I remember that mission was a lot of fun because you snuck through the mansion. It, I don't think you were um, – like I think you could have – because you're the you know dragonborn. You could have just like walked onto the island and then just shouted everyone off the island. <laughs> but but – I went. I went for the stealth playthrough and snuck through gamer. the snuck through the entire house. And then I had a, I had one of those shouts that um, show you where everybody is. So you know I would shout, see where all the guards were, and you know sneak around behind them, and slip through. But that was it. That was the, like the only mission that I ever did that in. So I think that left like a uh, a, a, a and, thieving shaped hole okay. in my life. But man, it, yeah. As soon as I watched that happen on that uh, thief walkthrough, where uh, you know you see Garrett's hands out in front of him, feeling around on the uh, uh, painting canvas, trying to find the button to open it up and then pick him the lock, I was like, "Man, that that that's it. That, that looks first, like the game, the at, game that I want to play." At first, I thought you meant you were literally sold on the whole just the lock picking animation. Like that was like, <laughs> I want a game for just that because yeah, you could also yeah, play some I Fallout got... and get get excited too. <laughs> Um, Every game needs needs a lock picking mini game. I I have decided we're there. they all need them. It's funny though, like um, so you you can upgrade your uh, your focus ability in the game, which is kind of like your magic. Well, it is a it ends up being a magic power the way that it upgrades, but um, you can up pick, you can upgrade it so that your lock picking is more advanced. The problem is, like the way it is initially, it's just it'll be like three um blank circles and then you just move your mouse around until you know the circles start to glow and then that's the sweet spot click mm-hmm. the action button what it actually does is when you upgrade it it actually shows you the inside mechanic of like the way a lock actually works and like the pick inside like you know pushing the uh, tumblers up and down mm-hmm. problem is i couldn't figure out like <laughs> that's not helping I me could, well, <laughs> Like that, it's is, like, it is exactly how you would pick a lock, and it was so much harder than just like <laughs> an inner can circle. I, can I that, just match three? Yeah, yeah. So it it wasn't any it wasn't any, it open. Any easier Move at all. the pipes. So, yeah, shout it. Open. So I wasted I wasted some upgrade points on on that ability. Sorry, but. wait. So are you saying that the lock pick animation was worth sixty bucks and it was awesome, or are you saying it was terrible? The uh, 
the real life lock picking part was terrible. Okay. But their uh, but I, their lock picking mini game was was spot on. It was okay. perfect. Okay. Yeah. So we don't have to worry about you taking this up professionally in real life because <laughs> I've got the I've got the hood for it. It's, it's all got, it's step and one. And I think I've got I, I've got the creepy <laughs> stalker <laughs> voice for it. Too. So I'm the only one here who hasn't purchased the game. I just historically shame I'm, on you. <laughs> actually, I missed the sale. I would have got it if I was paying attention. But um, I've only played like a couple hours of the original Thief. Thought it was kind of cool, but I was kind of terrible at it. Um, mm-hmm. But Aaron, you picked up the game. How far along are you? What's your first impressions? Well, yeah, I've I've actually got it on rental. I've given them no money. Oh, <laughs> but, uh, sticking it to Slam Gary. Slam well, Burger. You have it on rental. What's that mean? It's from Blockbuster? Yeah. Yeah, I'm only with you Blockbuster. There was <laughs> no to, one there. Are you, still, this weekend? are you a game flyer still? Yeah, I'm still All a right. game flyer. All right. Huh. It's working out for me. Um, Somebody's got to play if, Gears if they had of like Judgment. A beer, if they had like a beer or something, I would hold it up like I'm advertising, but okay. they don't. So. <laughs> um, I've put a couple hours into it, and yeah, like Jordan said, that the intro really kind of introduces you to the joy of what is being a thief you know like you're seeing all the cool stuff oh i'm breaking this lock and i'm feeling around and things that aren't bolted down and shiny are able to be snatched up but i'm maybe at i'm in chapter two and the story is just utter nonsense and it kind <laughs> the of story, the story <laughs> is garbage yeah. but the story has always been garbage <laughs> like pretty every, much in I, every thief game the story doesn't make sense until your second playthrough and then you're like oh that's why <laughs> this character has been talking about this thing oh that's who this person was and you, oh. and you still uh, don't care right yeah yeah, yeah. Okay. and so it's I the same myself <laughs> it's the same thing with the new game so it all it all works perfectly together yeah <laughs> i don't see myself playing this a second time if i get through it a first time <laughs> I mean, oh really? That's too no, bad. Yeah, I've always no. felt with those games that the story all it can do is get in the way. It can't really like it I would, has been I would rather play it, Thief Training Simulator. Like don't give me <laughs> you know, like give me a room. That's what I want to do. Here's the yeah, thing. Was, Here's the thing Justin, you want to steal. Was, it's over there. That was one of your complaints was uh the you had a problem with the idea of a thief saving the world or whatever. Yeah, I've heard, yeah, I heard <laughs> the story evolves it, to yeah. Yeah. No, it doesn't. And in, in, in every game, uh, like Garrett never sets out. He's not a hero oh, at all. I'm a, like, I'm in, a thief, damn the, it. <laughs> yeah, until I, the very until I, the very like last level. Like I think the first two games are mostly revenge based. It'll be like three or four missions into it, somebody screws you, and then you're gonna spend the rest of the game screwing them. That's and a different then, game. That's Laser Shoot Larry. <laughs> and then, oh, yeah. And then uh that M rating. <laughs> You just end up saving the world because they're trying to destroy it, and so okay. you know, what, oh, better, what oh. better way to stop what you know to screw them than yeah, just to stop what okay. they're doing? Okay. But you, so you're kind of like I think it's the like the anti-hero thing. Like you don't want you know you know you don't want to say like there's even a part in the second game I'm where I'm trying to save t- the world, but this guy's just a dick. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, kind of. And I'm so, gonna steal and, his stuff. Just steal no, the I world even, before they take it over. Yeah. Yeah, and <laughs> I'm trying to think at how to word the like okay because i beat the i beat the recent game and i don't i don't really want to spoil anything but what is um, there to spoil oh you don't i mean do you I, not care no, I don't, nothing has happened in this game oh well no, 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 spoilers, that, i mean no that's spoilers. and that's the problem with the thief game though like it's not until you finish the game that because i uh, i started watching the beginning of the game and i realized they introduce all of the main characters in the prologue like one of the main characters is limping through the entire game and it seems important because that guy really hates you for some reason. You you impale his leg at the beginning of the game. Like <laughs> this guy has a vendetta out against you, but it's just a quick little single moment. Is so, oh, I know what you're talking so about. Is that like Doctor I, Doctor House? He just really just... so after I watched that the prologue again, I was like, oh, huh? No wonder that I guy did that. Yeah, that guy hates me so much. I tore his leg off. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I got, I forgot all about that, but yeah, man. So the but story, then, yeah, but the story is forgettable. Happens. But as far as I mean, you played through the whole game, so it's gotta, it's gotta have something, something in there besides great simulated lock picking. To, uh, <laughs> to <laughs> yeah, no, it's sneaking around in the dark, you know, trying to find like the um, the right way to sneak around, like a, a bunch of guards. Like, and the guards in this are, um, I've read some criticism of the AI, like it's. Um, 
it, it's up yeah. and down. Like, it, like depending on who you read, some some of them call it really stupid, and some of them call it really great. So I can't. Well, yeah. Okay, it's inconsistent. So okay. I think that would be the best thing because, like, I had a, I had, I had a consistent experience. But like, someone, one of them, the reviews that I read, the guy said, like, he would be, what he thought was in complete darkness, like crouched down, and someone would see him from like across the map or something like that and come chasing after him. And then another time, he would be fully lit, standing in front of a guard, and the guards wouldn't react to him. I. I, he may That's have been exa- he may have been exaggerating to try and prove his point, but I never Maybe. I never had that happen. But what would happen is you'd have two, you would have guards like walking around together, talking to each other the entire time. And if you thought, oh, this one guard's fallen behind a little bit, and you try and take him out, if he was talking while you took him out, the other guard noticed that. <laughs> <laughs> So you that, was, that sentence. Yeah, that was a lesson I had to learn. And then like sometimes you can um, Garrett, I think. When you take guys down, when you do your stealth takedown, sometimes it's quiet and sometimes it's not. That's as best as I can figure. Is sometimes you'll take a guard out, and they and there's like two guys standing real close and nobody notices it. Then you just quietly drag the body into the shadows and then throw <laughs> you know throw it over a railing into the water and then go back for the next guy, take him out and quietly, drag him away. Um, okay, yeah. So bringing that up too, that was uh, one of the other things that was real fun about the game is you don't have to kill anyone. Like that was the like the the Skyrim comparison again. Mm. I, you know, the game's an action RPG. Like, like yeah, I'm trying fought. not to kill anyone in this playthrough, but I've already killed one person because I climbed over a rail and I Animal. I landed right next to like this glass. And as soon as I moved, <laughs> the glass just shattered everywhere, yeah. and I'm like, well, yeah, you kicked <laughs> you kicked a bottle op- over. I. Uh, yeah, I, I discovered that accidentally too, and had like three yeah. guards on I, top. On top of me. I only killed you because I'm bad at my job. Mm-hmm. I'm bad at my you profession. Your glasses, your dishes so, everywhere. Yeah, I tried doing that too. I tried doing the uh, I tried doing the nice guy oh, thing because at the beginning that. of the game. Do you do you think that I'm in danger because I keep a messy house? Like as far as like <laughs> the burglar could That's break all. in and want to just get in I, and out, but because he woke me up, because he I like pots of pans, stepped on my um, dog toys all over. That's why I died. <laughs> yeah, in doorways all over the place. Oh, so anyway, um, I tried to do the nice guy run because at the beginning of the game, it's no fun. Garrett uh, chews. He's with another thief, and he chews her out because she just Thieves. killed the guy. Yeah, he, he gets. And very he, moral. Yeah, he kind of he kind of chews her out about it, and so I thought, okay, you know that makes sense. I'm I'm playing a game as a thief. Like, there's no reason to kill to be running around yeah, killing I mean, anybody. Like, steal those lives. Yeah, I'm I'm not probably because you're bad at combat. Like, that's why my, you've chosen my, to be a thief. That was always my, my other mor- my issue morality is you know is I'm a bad person, but I'm not an evil person. I'm going to run around kill. But also, like, yeah, the yeah the combat in the games, um, I, it's terrible. But I think it's supposed to be terrible because, um. Well, he's when I terrible. played the, he's no, actually he kicks ass sometimes, oh, okay. which, is, That's weird. <laughs> which is real funny. And then when you like the the takedowns, like I mean, Garrett just sneaks up and knocks a knocks a dude out immediately. So that I mean, you know, that takes some skill, but like when people notice you, like your ability to fight them back is. We, yeah, is is a, is a lot more difficult than it's ever been. You're either taking movie. them out yeah, with a surprise is. a surprise hit, or you're fucked. The, yeah, that's I, that's the only way you can take anybody. So out. wait, yeah, let me so, get get back to. Sorry, is he is he bad at combat, or is the combat bad? Um, the combat is bad. Yeah, the I think. combat's okay. bad. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but like I said, I think it's supposed to be because I blew through the first game. Mm-hmm. I like it was Skyrim. I just sword fought everyone because. Yeah. Because of the way the um, the mechanics of the first game were, and you had a sword, and then um, the the way the controls were, it was just really easy just to walk into a, a room and then just start fighting everybody. So this one, I was like, okay, I'll, I'll do the nice thing. Um, I won't, I won't, I won't even knock anybody out. The problem was, um, probably about halfway through the game, I started to notice um, each. Because you have your hub world, mm-hmm. um, so you always start at the hub world, and then like um, you go talk to your fence, and then he's usually got a job or a lead for you. Because um, uh, what like one of the main things of themes throughout the thief games is um, you're you're always uncovering something like or like some hidden truth or something like that. You'll stumble upon um, well. 
it's usually like the revenge thing, and so someone's after you, someone's put a hit out on you, so you know it's you trying to find out who it was or you know trying to get revenge on somebody. So it's the same thing with this one. Um, you wake up and it's a year later, and you're not really sure yeah. what what's all happened, and so it's you trying to piece together what's where like where you were this last year or what happened over the last year, and then just along the way. You know, you're in a room where you know you'll be like in the ducks listening to people talk. Well, they don't know anyone's listening, and so then they're discussing something in secret or in private. Of um, course. Or like, <laughs> I, there's another thing too that I've not really heard anyone kind of point out. It's the idea of like um, secrets being valuable. Yeah. Like you know, wanting so people keep them hidden because. Um, yeah, I don't. You know, like, really I, sure. like items, like secrets? items or conversation. No, secrets. actual like plots or well, yeah, embarrassing things like that. Like, <laughs> and so just <laughs> private, just things yeah. that should be things that should be private. Trauma. Things, that, things that you could blackmail people for, like photos and evidence and um, journal entries and things like that. You just don't randomly so, talk about that with your buddy when you're on the job and you think you're alone. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's what, you make we, have, we have a podcast night. dedicated to that, I think. <laughs> secrets. Uh, so, so, so anyway, <laughs> I, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to follow my notes Secret here. I'm trying to secrets. Try not to ram. I'm trying not to <laughs> ramble. So, no, you're good. So about so about halfway through the game, I noticed the um, each each mission has uh, many objectives, and one of the objectives is always don't get caught mm. and steal all the loot in the game. But then there will be there's always um, two extra ones, and one of them was. Um, do five uh, silent takedowns or something like that or five aerial takedowns and I was like huh well that's easy to do and you get gold if you complete those objectives mm-hmm. so then I start you know doing um, the silent knockouts mm-hmm. and then I realized huh game's, game's a lot easier if you just <laughs> sneak up and take guys out yeah I've noticed that <laughs> And I like, I like if I can make a game easier, if I can exploit something, then I will. Yeah. So yeah, I, <laughs> I act it. Well, I mean, and, if you feel like you're still playing within the rules, that I mean, yeah, yeah, I, I that because they ask you to do it. It's, I, there are many objectives. It's it'll it'll, and the the one that started it, it was get five headshots. <laughs> <laughs> That was the, the and it was halfway through the game. That was the one that I noticed. Like, oh, there's all these little mini objectives. Five headshots. I've never killed anyone. I've not <laughs> even shot. I've not. I don't even think I've shot one of the broadhead arrows yet. Did your so, character have like moral conflicts with your decision to to change up your style? No. Like that first one no. was just he just <laughs> he took a little. The first time. Yeah. It was just, so he had to I will really say think this. about that, so, that first headshot. So that 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 kind of leads into to one of my biggest problems it, kind of a problem with the game was um so the ending okay happened mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, I, I, and i thought oh i got the bad ending that makes sense because of all the people that i've killed <laughs> you know that i mean that would be along like the dishonored lines yeah yeah and then i thought well i'd better check to make sure the game has multiple endings oh like the evil <laughs> like the evil ending not the... like i got the bad ending okay. yeah because i've been a bad person no there's only one ending for the game <laughs> i uh I didn't understand would, the ending. Would it have been well, really? Either. Would it have been really out of place had you got through the game without killing people? No, no. Okay. It just the it's way just that it ends. <clears throat> I misinterpreted something. Okay. So now, when I, when I say that I like it was a bad ending, or I didn't like the ending, or I didn't understand the ending, um, it's totally my fault. <laughs> I uh, I was probably two beers in at that point. <laughs> I wasn't really paying any attention, and I'm not I'm not the I'm not the quickest guy, and so I. I just missed. I I missed. I I didn't pick up on the clues that they give you. It's you, so I I got online to search for like is there multiple endings and then I got it on a form and someone just explained the ending and I was like oh oh okay that makes sense oh that's actually so a good way to end the game I was okay. say, so, so you so got I'm the good okay ending the, so I'm okay with the ending now but there was a, it was one of the, you know it was that Mass Effect three moment where it's like what the hell like yeah. what happened I'm mad I'm mad you know <laughs> to the internet to complain which is what everyone did. Luckily, there was a guy in most of those forums that was like, "No, uh, you just didn't catch <laughs> the one or two things that and were that's in okay. that." Because again, that the story of this game shouldn't matter. I like that there's a guy that will explain the ending to thieves there's to people <laughs> on the internet as if that's something that needs to happen. It did need to happen. <laughs> no, you need to know <laughs> what happened to, in this I game. Need, I needed to know what happened because, like I said, I thought I got the bad ending. I thought I thought bad stuff happened. 
Oh, and I mean, you know, it was, it was, it was, it was car- <laughs> and it was karma. It turns out it was, and I just, I had I'm not, to. I'm not, I'm not quick. I'm picking up clues. I had to read the entire internet twice to understand what happened in Bioshock Infinite, so I understand. <laughs> <laughs> um, I watched that like a half hour ex like existential explanation of like physics and time travel. <laughs> <laughs> it it helped a little bit. <laughs> um, but as far as like yeah, f- uh. Actually, I have, I have a very important question. You said you're a couple beers in, that made you miss some of the, the uh, the plot, which the nuance, uh, I the might actually of the plot. I might actually encourage yeah. people to do. But did you, is there is there potential for a thief drinking game? Like as far as are there, <laughs> are there repetitive? No. Oh, okay. No, um, you you kind of need to you not you need to be as focused as Garrett. But as Garrett <laughs> is. Because you, you just every miss, time you pry a door open, you take a drink or pry up the window. You'll just miss stuff. So and yeah. and then the other thing it happens is too. So I played the nice the nice guy thing, and I was taking my time. I was being real thoughtful. Like I was, I would, I would get to a point. I'd enter a room. I'd try and climb somewhere high, and then I would just look and plan. Like okay, there's a guard over there. I'd watch his routines, try and figure him out. And usually the guards will walk over, talk to each other, and there's they usually do kind of like a they'll random interactions, or they'll just randomly turn around too, which sucks. <laughs> Like, I hate that. Oh but am man, I, yeah. Am I right that you actually you liked the game? Like we're being kind of yeah, yeah. yeah. I really did. I okay. I really enjoyed the game. So and like I said, I, I was talking with you guys before. Like I I don't review games. I've never <laughs> done that before. So it's hard for me to pick out what I'm going to trick you into liked. doing it. So okay. that's what we're here. It's going to take Aaron and I both to wrench it out of it. But there's amazing things I can do in post to just like cut your audio <laughs> together to make it sound like you did it. This is Jordan's video review of Thief. I, and remarkably, you're gonna Banana, you're gonna apple, st- <laughs> you're gonna farts, close the entire review with just talking about the story, but it's only gonna be really yeah. really short. Because like, I love Thief. The ending was great. <laughs> so, Aaron, you put the game down. There's obviously lots of stuff to play, but do you plan on going back to Thief? I want to talk a little bit about like what's the what are, what are the hooks with the gameplay? Like, what's it doing well? I feel like it's got a pretty decent flow. I think I will go back to it. I tried playing some uh, just before this cast to see, you know, what was annoying to me about it, what did I enjoy. And it's when the story is, you know, it's in the back burner, but when it's just way out of your mind, you're just kind of, you know, going from place to place, stealing from people, sneaking around guards. I feel like the game does handle the stealth fairly well, and the indicators of you're hidden and you're not hidden... I think are just very obvious. It's just cool. kind of fun being a kleptomaniac, and so I think I will. <laughs> I uh, I'll keep playing it. I caught a couple streams of it after it came out and was surprised as far as like just watching. Is obviously an early mission, but actually just kind of watching some of the sneaking around and being being like, yeah, I I've missed this genre. I've missed like I don't want the frills of Dishonored. Like I I want just. Like I said, I want a very simple thief game. I want, I, I want, like I said, if it was challenge rooms, that would be even more appealing to me. Just set up a scenario where I have to do an elaborate little first-person heist and the uh, the original yeah. Metal Gear Solid was that, <laughs> like on the PlayStation. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of that, like sneaking through ducks yeah, and trying totally. to avoid guards. But, but again, like the you could fight, but the combat in the game was designed in such a way like you are not going to succeed very often if you try and get in gunfights with with, uh, yeah. with you know the other yeah. soldiers walking. You and can, I mean, you just shouldn't. I mean, I guess like that's kind of where I was getting. I wanted to know if he was just not skilled at combat, which I think should be he shouldn't be skilled. But if the Garrett combat's was, just clunky and, and Garrett, bad, and that's yeah. why you fail, yeah, like like like, um, because that's that's the other thing I really liked. It's the reason I liked uh, Metal Gear Solid One was because it it did focus more on the stealth side, and obviously this this genre is headed headed a lot further into the action genre. Like, oh yeah, I was yeah, starting definitely. to I was starting to think back to yeah. um, Assassin's Creed One, which you know has a gets a mixed rap at this point, but like some of the stealth stuff that it did, I really enjoyed the 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 lone assassination missions i just thought those were structured really well compared to even some of the the more recent games because the game's turned into an action adventure game which i love it for but like the whole assassin side of it other than stabbing dudes it's not like you you can play that kind of very run and gun creed and and that was the draw to me for thief i was like if they could i look at the stealth genre very similar to the way similar to the way i look at the horror genre in that 
in small doses, I love stealth. In small doses, I love horror, and it's, it's kind of the best gameplay out there for me. Like it's most thrilling. But pulling that off for a you know a four, six, or twelve hour game is really difficult. And you know that was that to me was the promise of Thief. And I don't know. It doesn't sound like they solved it, but but at the same time, maybe they pulled they pulled it off. And it's and this is I put about probably thirty five hours into it. Mm-hmm. Did the so, Thief? Yeah, okay. yeah. There are side yeah. missions, I think. Oh yeah, there's a yeah, there's actually a ton of side missions oh, in the wow. game. There's like two main um, side quest givers, I guess you would call them, mm-hmm. and then um, there's the main guy that, um, and he's always got side jobs. But his side jobs, like you can, they're in the hub world, and they're not instants. So it'll just be like, you grab thirteen of his side jobs, and then you can clear them all out in like one area because it's just you like jumping into a building and stealing stuff out of a cupboard. Huh? Yeah, I had no idea there was that much content. I mean, you're you're a thorough you take, individual, okay, so but still, if you, take, hours. If, if you take your time and you like, if you try and collect Would all the loot to? in a, in a yeah. level, you could probably blow through the game because this is like I said when I started killing guys, what? I realized who, who like the game. The game is a lot easier. The problem is, um, you are always limited on resources. Like the mm-hmm. the only way yeah. you can kill kill a guy is to shoot him with an arrow. Well. Unless you upgrade your bow high enough, like you have to get a headshot off on a guy, um, and the guys bob and weave too. <laughs> like, <laughs> like while they're on patrol, they'll walk over and then they'll just like keep like looking around, looking up and looking. And they'll you know. start dodging for no reason. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they kind of do. So someone might shoot me on my patrol today. <laughs> so it's easier just to sneak up and, atta- and attack guys, but they're always in like groups, and so it's like, it's all right, I gotta, podcast like this. I gotta shoot, I gotta shoot water arrows and get all the torches <laughs> off, and then try and pick the one guy that's gonna make the least noise. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that kind of stuff can still take a while to do. But I don't know, like, that, that makes me mad when I think about, like, you could, you know, you could blow through this game quickly if you wanted to. I was like, then why are you playing Thief? Like, I would rather mm-hmm. them, that's that's that's, true. that's the other problem. With, like, the, with this the being, story. You want to get, get all the story beats. <laughs> Where's this going? Obviously. Let's find out what happens. But that's yeah. my other problem with this being the, you know, the, the AAA price point, the $60 game. Like and you're setting the stage to get a wider audience. I'm like, no, just just do what you do and go after that stealth audience. That's still there, but make the you know make some concessions, make a little stylized experience, make you know more of the challenge room approach, and just do stealth well. And I think that would that would also be fine. And I think they succeeded in that regard. Um, I didn't do it because again I'm lazy, and if there's an easy way, I'll I'll <laughs> I'll go for it. You can shut all the HUD elements off. So yeah. you have no idea what, how much health you have. You don't know how many arrows. You don't know your arrow count. Um, and then, like, the map, you can shut the map off. Obviously, like, waypoints. You can even shut the reticle off on your mm-hmm. arrow. You turn the whole game off. Yeah. <laughs> Just <laughs> turn then, the monitor off and play. And then, Just go. And then you, can, you, can, you can turn off um, health so you can't eat food to regain health. You can also turn so on... Your mouth shut. You can also turn on permadeath. Just, mm. It took me 35 hours to get through the game. You can turn on permanent. <laughs> if you die at any point, you have to start the game all over again. But you can also change it so that it's it's not just you die. If you get spotted, it's game over. Mm. So if you have that plus permadeath, mm-hmm. so the uh, they added um, so many like little ways to make the game like impossible if if that's the experience that you're looking so, for but they also made it so that you can make the game you know if you're not if you're me did you did you, you don't, did you mess you with that have, stuff like, very much did you mess with no because like uh, no i makes... kind of didn't even notice it I, I i watched someone start a master ghost run yeah. um today and i was watching them. i haven't heard that promoted too much because it started reminding me of Iron Man mode and XCOM because you know that's what it's called. Yeah. They have they it's have called a Iron Man mode. mode. Iron Man, yeah. <laughs> well, I, I think I think it's a switch. Like you can turn on sure. Iron Man, and uh, one of the things that it does is um. I hope it does. That I think well. that's okay. I think that's the one that you can't save. You can't quick save. Okay. The game only saves when a when a mission starts, and then that's it. Okay. And then it'll save once the mission's completed. Yeah, I need something in between. I need the quick saves, but I need... No, Iron Man was the permadeath one. I think that was the permadeath one. Hmm. 
which is ridiculous. <laughs> this, no, like, but that's cool. I think they should have. I think they should have yeah. publicized that stuff better. Like, because it was always like I thought XCOM did a good job at publicizing. Like, listen, we're gonna kind of make this game accessible for people, but still fun and challenging. But like all of yeah. you, all of you franchise fans, if you want that experience, and we've we've got that switch too. I think those people. Knew, I think those people knew about it because I hope so. um, I hope so. this game's been in development for long enough. I know that there was a lot of back and forth between the developers and the community because mm-hmm. they were trying to make you know a faithful new thief game. Um, I think everybody that wanted that knew about it because they made sure that it was in the game. They made cuz the original game was that way too where if you increase the difficulty, the game you could not like okay, I think the original game was you could play it on normal, hard and then, you know, master or whatever. And on master, you could not beat the level and then it gave you a huge list of things. You can't kill anyone, you can't knock anyone out, you have to steal everything, mm-hmm. you can't be seen. And if you don't do all six of these impossible to do things, then you you cannot right. finish the level. That is obsessive. Yeah, I just didn't. So they, I, I didn't hear much about that. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. But um. But but I feel like because, I feel, because nobody beat the played the game. <laughs> no, that's not true. I'm kidding. I did, I, you know, it it did better than I thought as far as yeah. word of mouth. Uh, because and I, I actually I, I, read, the I actually worst. read a lot of really. I read a lot of good reviews over the last couple of days it was, too. It was just like whether or not the reviewer was just willing to kind of. You know, get immersed in thief and and like get into it versus fighting what the game was at, was actually trying to do. That was those every, those types of reviews are really yeah. frustrating to read. And every uh, one of those reviews that they and they pointed out everything that was wrong with it. Mm-hmm. Like they weren't trying to pretend. Like well, the one the guy was just like the story sucks. Just I'm gonna get that out of the way. It, there's there's no point. <laughs> I, and he and he thought it was a great game. And he thought the story was ridiculous. Uh, yeah, and, it just and, don't it even was, it wasn't. In we, his in his opinion, the story wasn't needed, and he oh, still had a, and be. he still had a great time. Challenge rooms, I'm telling you. <laughs> I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, mean, I agree too. Set set those challenge rooms in different time periods. Let me be a thief, mm-hmm. like all over the pl- like. Don't even <laughs> name him. Just like thief situations, <laughs> like thief on Mars, thief scene investigation, like yeah, thief on Mars. <laughs> Sly Cooper, man, a thief in yeah. time. Yeah, I mean, you can be, rac- made, you so can be a raccoon in one of the, ro- one you of the rooms. You don't even need to be a person. You can be an animal. Yeah, <laughs> you can be a turtle. You can be a big hippo. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, hippo, hippo thief missions. So, so going, talking about the hardcore mode, mode a, a little bit. It seems to me like they have to, if you're going to make a triple A stealth game. You have to appeal to the audiences, and you, it's definitely going more to that action um, style, or or at least something with a lot of quick saves where you can find exploits to get through the game. Mm-hmm. And I don't think that's doing the genre any favors. So I'm pretty much at the point where I don't know if we need to make AAA stealth games, or or that'll be true stealth games. Like I'd rather them go for this the more, you know, the budget price range, those twenty thirty dollar twenty thirty dollar games. We've all kind of said that the this game kind of fits that mold anyway, but like there were some, but it, there were some, there were some large high budget moments later in the but, game. But though. did they? What did they really add for you? Like, is that why I, you enjoyed it or why you? I thought I thought they were pretty fun. Okay. They were really, they were really <laughs> the one. The one was really unexpected. You, but basically, it's kind of like a, you know, the bri- the buildings exploding and the ta- you know, and the bridge is on fire and you have to find your way across. Okay. You know, you die like four or five times trying to find the right path across. But for a game that has not asked you to hurry once, <laughs> to all of get your like, ass go, go, out. Get, get, get to the chopper. Go. Your ass is on yeah. fire. Yeah, that that was that the came thieves out of are burning. It was real stress. Yeah, it was real stressful. Another because, fire pun. Because <laughs> because um. I was trying to collect all the loot, and I um, there were four pieces of loot I had yet to find. While well, everything's burning around you. <laughs> yeah, and they and they hid some pieces of loot. <laughs> what is uh What does Garrett do with the loot? Like, what is? Why is he thieving? Like, what is? He's. I think it's a compulsive disorder. Okay. <laughs> if you, if, mine, mine, mine. If you want to be, if you want to just be real honest about it, I think Garrett can't help himself. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think I think he might have. It's the only thing I'm good at, man. It's the only thing I know to do. It sparkles. He wants it. Mm Mm-hmm. It's got that. It's that loot. 
Now, let's see. Aaron, yeah. we, we brought up Assassin's Creed. We brought up a little bit of Metal Gear. Um, I have not played Ground Zeroes yet, and I'm kind of curious to see how yeah. how much how stealthy that actually can be. But looking out there, I mean, the standout to me as far as more experiences that I want on the stealth genre has to be Mark of the Ninja. Um, but yes. As far as, like, it... it it does an amazing job of giving you the base information that you need to navigate a world Definitely. stealthily. Like it, it just it, it lets you know very minimalistically how much in cover you are, like how easily you can be seen, and just lets you kind of approach yes. each level as a puzzle. Not confusing. No, it's it's kind of flawless. And I wondered, with that in mind, did Thief do that well, or in, and if not, did it do it better than Dishonored? Thief. Thief does a lot of visual cues in terms of trying to let you know what's happening, but, I mean, Mark of the Ninja, like we said, it, it's almost flawless in its execution of you know when you're in the light, you know when you're in the shadow, you know when a dude's going to spot you or not, but Thief, I do wind up in situations where there are guards and positions, and I'm kind of sitting behind cover in the shadows wondering, is now the time I should go? And then a guy will turn, I'm like, oh, I think I missed my cue, now I have to wait again. And so there is kind of a real stop and go for me in terms of navigating the environments. But when you are spotted, there's – I'm playing on normal. I don't know what Jordan did, and I'll let him answer that after I finish this. But um, – <laughs> Don't cut me off. <laughs> so um, I've been spotted a couple of times, and I noticed, like, an eyeball would appear above guards' heads, and it kind of has, like, three modes. Where, like, one is, like, they're curious. Two is, like, I think I saw something. And three is and Sauron. Three, I guess – and three is, yeah, <laughs> they start, like, screaming and throwing out of their faces because they've spotted That's you. That's weird. That is weird. <laughs> and so uh, just before this cast, I tried to, I threw a bottle to distract a guy. Mm. And so you that's kind of easy to, you know, get the hang of. Like, you know where you're going to throw it. shows a little indicator, almost a little too much information. But it's like, hey, you know, better safe than sorry. And so I went scampering into the light, and as soon as I tried to hit the darkness again, the guy started to notice me. Like you kind of hear like the kind of like some kind of vibrato, something picks up in the the music. And so I'm like, oh shit, he spotted me. And the guy's like, did I just see something? And I'm like, no, you didn't. And I just kept on running. But <laughs> at that point, like only two of the three circles lit up, and I kind of felt like, is that really not enough for him? to pursue what happened. I didn't look back, so I don't know what he did. But for him to blurt out, did I just see something? It just seemed <laughs> kind of bizarre. But Is somebody it's, there? It's a gaming cue to let him know, oh, I, I've been noticed. But that also happened to me at a much closer range where I was like, I was straight up in like, almost in the guy's face. And he was like, huh, what is that? <laughs> I'm like, what? I'm a person. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. That's and a I snuck into the shadows and he's like, he got, kind of got a little like offensive and looked around a bit, but I'm like, dude, I was right in the open. You saw me, and you got two stars. It you almost can seemed literally like you hit three. Smell my breath. <laughs> yeah, you know what a person looks like. You know I'm not dressed like the rest of the guards around here. You know you're on the lookout you... for me. But the most you can muster is, is wh who? Can I what? ask you something? Do do you do you belong here? I'm just can asking. You some of the guards ID? have bad. Have, some of them have poor eyesight. That's... Oh. Yeah, yeah it's, my it's dark. It's dark. That's my some of them, thing. some of them have been shot with water arrows, and that gets really <laughs> tricky to see through all the water. So, um, they must have like water balloon fights, and he's like, "Oh, he hit me with water." I don't know if he was good or bad yet. It could have been Joe down the street. So I can't really think of any other like stealth franchises from the past that like are left. Like Thief was kind of like the the. The outlier out there. It's like, when are we going to get a new Thief game? But, like, you know, Hitman was still kind of alive, alive and kicking. Mm -hmm. Metal Gear, obviously. Splinter Cell will never die. Splinter Cell I'm will not, never die. What about the DayX? DayX uh, is games. back. Day, yeah, yeah DayX. Um, obviously, Assassin's Creed. Um, I don't know if they'll revisit Mark of the Ninja. Uh, Hitman, if I already said that. And then Dishonored was the new kid on the block. But, like, yeah. which which of those franchises do you, do you want to see, like, more of a focus on stealth or you think does stealth the best like something you want to you want to play more of i feel like dishonored did a lot of interesting things and i've heard mixed comments about that but just in terms of 
I think ability, that's kind of what I want out of these stealth games, is knowing that the character I'm playing as has the ability to actually be stealthy and isn't stealthy for the sake of, you know, if these dudes spot me, they're going to murder me. And I get the idea, you know, like in Metal Gear and even in Thief, you know, you don't want to get into combat. They try to try to push you away from that. But I like the way that Dishonored handled the that aspect by saying, hey, we give you all these capabilities to distract and navigate away quickly that you don't really need to fight. But if you do, you know, you'll just stab dudes in the in the head and keep on going. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, and that's and that's that's my problem. Is the second you give me a way out, I'll I'm use just it. Take, I'm just gonna take it because, yeah. like like I said, point, okay. So you, after every mission, you're back in the hub world, and because I was being the nice guys, like all right, I'm just I'm gonna always find the path around these guys. Well, at some point, it's the same group of like four or five guys that are in your way, and I haven't found a quick easy way to get. Ah, shoot, I'm just gonna. Hit, I'm going to wait until they're all in a group and then just hit them with an explosion, with an exploding <laughs> arrow. Go, you know, rummage their corpses and then just be on my way. Because that doesn't count. The uh, hub world doesn't count. Mm-hmm. Like, if, pe- if people spot you, just run. Just run. Yeah, it's not a mission. Okay. So just go. Yeah, I, sorry, I, for- I forgot to mention this part. So I, I had been doing that. I, I started to get a little cocky because I had a lot of ammo, had a lot of money. So if I used my arrows, I could just jump into a shop and... Um, Refill, you know, restock, because you don't care. You're not carrying that many lethal arrows. It, you can get up to like eight broadhead arrows, and then there's another type of broadhead arrow. But you don't have, you can't kill that many guys at, at any one time. Um, I, I thought I'll just run by these guys. Well, you know, I start running by some guys, and then they all start screaming. Now there's like eight guys after me. <laughs> I've started a little like aggro train, and I'm like, I'll, I'll. I'll jump down this alley, and then there, there's something for me to climb, surely. Nope. <laughs> I turn around, and they were all on top of me within an instant, and I was dead. Like, in a, in a moment, I was I was dead. So I, uh, I lost some of my cockiness after that point. Nice. And then I was like, okay. They took you down a notch. I'll, I'll take these guys out if I can, because then I tried taking a guy out another time, and then someone saw it happen, and then there were four guards on top of me within an instant, because... <laughs> Some of the guards also, some of them have crossbows, it, and they have magic magic cross or bolts that can go around uh, corners. So those guys, <laughs> those guys, those that's, guys, once they spot you, it's hard to get away. They can bend the bolts around corners. Oh, also the guards throw daggers, I think. Because I had like two guards after me, and I thought, oh, I'll just jump up on this wall real quick, and I'll be on top of the building, and then I'll just neener, neener, you know, neener, can't get me. <laughs> they, Knife. They, they, they were throwing something at me, and I was dead. <laughs> Garbage. Yeah, don't ever, don't neener neener the guards. That's rule number one in stealth games. Um, I really liked, I really liked the variety that of gameplay that Dishonor and kind of encouraged. Like, I I really got into the powers and kind of fighting my way out of things, but it did at least have some promise. To I felt like if I wanted to do a stealth run, it was completely accessible. Um, yeah, but. But yeah, you're right, Jordan. Like, if you give me that opportunity, like, the chances of me in 2014 yeah. replaying a game multiple times, if you're going to give me that opportunity, I'm not going to go back and do that. So, but and that's, Dishonored that's was close. Where, that's where I'm at, yeah. I just, like, I feel like, well, I don't really have the time to spend to take the, you know, nice two hours to find every piece of loot in this level and to not... Yeah, I don't even try. Yeah. I mean, the only ones yeah, that come... I, I gave up. As soon as I realized it didn't really matter, I, I just started killing everybody the second second I saw guys. The the only other games that have come close are still the 2D action games. I mean, Mark of the Ninja, uh, Stealth, Stealth Bastard, um, but because those have the more of like I said that challenge room, room approach yeah, of yeah. like try to beat your your stealth speed yeah. score. And I think the the only one that I can think of that is close to that in the from the like the 3D games would be Hitman. But that 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 says franchise that also struggles with the, its identity it seems to be trying to do the iron man mode but the normal mode is really ex- accessible and aaron do you played mm-hmm. a little bit of the most recent one right do you think hitman finished yeah do, um the new hitman is so cinematic compared mm-hmm. to the old hitman and it also does like how jordan missed appar- or mentioned apparently in thief Apparently, some stuff, stuff's going to start exploding at some point if I keep playing this game. Mm-hmm. Hitman has similar moments where 
Hmm. On the one hand, you you enter a room and it's like, oh, you got to sneak around and you want to blend in. And that's the fun part. But then you, as soon as you leave that room and get to the next section, it's like, oh, a helicopter has descended upon it's, you. They know you're there and you need to run away and not it's die. The, it's the Call of Duty AAA yeah. moment. Yeah. Those were the big moments. Like, moment. They're like big and bombastic and you're supposed to be like, oh, man, this is intense. But for me, I'm like, I got this game to do what Hitman has done years prior, I didn't get it so I can run from helicopters. I don't I just don't I don't see the answer coming from the bigger games. I think I think this genre needs its amnesia moment. Like it needs its it needs its like indie standout of uh what do you mean amnesia moment? As far as like there's been kind of a flood of games in and around in and around amnesia's release and that was like the first one in a long time that um it kind of just got in and got out as far as nailing the horror experience. Uh, oh, like, right. Because you didn't have a gun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You didn't have a shotgun. or No, because yeah. I wasn't scared like was three quarters of that fucking game because I shit in the water. Um, <laughs> no, I mean, it just, I, I think that in, the answer for, I don't know, the future of this genre may actually end up coming from indie games. I just, like, there's got to be some sort of evolution for it that's gonna gonna stand out and I just I don't see Hitman Metal Gear Thief um doing it. I'm really worried about what Dishonored Two might be. I just don't know how it can you know, it was kind of I don't know, it might be a one hit wonder and like I'm gonna, I'm gonna play that game more action oriented and it'll be fine, but it's just like you could just see it going the Assassin's Creed route of getting into, you know, the mysticism of that world versus focusing on being an assassin. So um, I thought Dishonored, um, it the way they handled it, though, like you can play the game the easy way mm-hmm. and do a lot of combat and fight, except you get the bad ending at the end of Dishonored. <laughs> yeah. If you want the if you want the good ending, if you yeah. want to, and see and 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 maybe like the problem with that is more like okay, if you if you're killing everyone, the in the difficulty of the game actually increases because if you're killing everybody, maybe you're trying to go for the easy playthrough, and so they actually make the entire game harder, and then they actually yeah. give you—they give you the crappiest possible ending <laughs> that the game, the actual bad <laughs> ending, the that actual a, bad that a, that a game can give you. Yeah, I mean everybody is just miserable by the end of that game. It's, it's just a, your, it's just a static it's sur- screen says, "Congratulations, you are winner." <laughs> Replay. <laughs> insert <laughs> insert. Insert coin. So, I, so maybe that's the only way the AAA uh, titles can get away with it is to actually change um, okay. the narrative of the game. I want they have the budget yeah. to do it. I want Cause somebody to because the AAA game has to give you all those options because there has to be the hardcore people, the like let's plays, the um, mm. you know speed runners, and then just yeah. the casual people like me. And the only way that they can add the incentive because the only way. Um, that I would play the game again is if there was a different ending because I just did that with the I did that with uh, the Witcher too. Mm-hmm. I played that game. I think I've played that game three times now because of how, wow. because of how differently the choices that you make affect the rest of the game. Not how just di- the end- how differently Not- and subtly. Right. Yeah. 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 Because it's it builds. There's like three main acts in the game, and the choice you make at the end of the act one mm-hmm. change completely changes act two. And then, yeah, then the decisions you make in those two I mean, yeah, they gotta, change. They got to get creative and give you real incentive to stay stealthy. That it isn't yeah. just you know beat your best time kind of stuff. And I think, yeah, you know, they've got to get rid of the whole like giving you some power to cheat the game or like memorizing the level. So I think. Oh you know, yeah, yeah. You know, if like, it was if the, if the guards were random, yeah, guards and settings are random a little bit. Um, that could help out. And I mean, I really think just like for the end for the it, nowadays, it seems like an indie game has to break new ground and then a triple A game will borrow some of its mechanics and better ideas. And like, like for like, I don't feel like Thief or Dishonored has the foundation like t- to take the risk needed to make this genre actually kind of have the impact that it used to. And I think. It's gonna take something surprising, something new, to I don't know, to kind of I don't know, like I said, have its uh, have its uh, amnesia moment, have its have its kind of standout experience. That I don't know. Can, I think because like, I think that's the problem. I think we've already had that though. I think that the, those stealth moments they already occurred in the original three uh, thief games. It's possible. I, I, yeah. I, it, we might we might just be past it with 
thief in like, Hit, unless, Hitman. Could be. And the, first the, only thing that's, the only thing that's different now is um, if you could build, like, okay, so the hub world of Thief, it's huge, but it's also broken into parts, so there's loading screens in between. Mm. Yeah, there are. <laughs> so maybe the future of um, stealth games is the Assassin's Creed world, where it's just yeah. a, a huge city, um, and whether there's, okay, I'll do the um, Skyrim lore thing, where there is a story, but it's not um, well, yeah, I mean, it's not central to what you're doing. You're discovering it yeah. by a- by accident. Because Thief does that too, which um, it, it as fr- from a development standpoint, it's like it's a very cheap and easy way to add depth to a world when you just hide notes everywhere, mm-hmm. or you overhear dialogue. Because it's not it's not it's not as scripted. It's something that can if they're just you know if it's just text files, you can change it, um, you know, a week before launch or something like that. So maybe it's just that that's <laughs> building these giant no, set mean, pieces and then having really complex AI. Because like yeah, I yeah. I had some really awesome moments in Thief where, um, so two guards sit next to each other. So I'll throw a bottle. I expect the both guards to go and investigate it. Mm-hmm. No, one of the guards is the other guy's chief officer so he tells him to go look at it and then that guy complains because he's like well i don't want to go in the shadows <laughs> yeah mark of the, look at, mark of the ninja did a good job with that stuff too as far as like the groups of guards would work together like, like yeah yeah the other work the other guys were kind of watching his back when he's investigating something else so but yeah i mean then, you, yeah, you, brought, you bring up a good point that... like the advantage that AAA games might have would be in the complexity of the ai the the opportunities there because that's you know that was what you know, initially blew us all away with Metal Gear. We just thought that those those guards were just super smart. Like, oh yeah, uh, yeah, and and um, yeah, that would be another big thing. Would be an invo- an, a, a world that um, in- evolves based on what you do. I like the idea of like, okay, what if I play? What if I do the ghost run and thief, and no one ever sees me? No one should ever know that Garrett was there. Yeah. Problem is, yeah. problem is, as far as the story is concerned. Yes, we know that it was Garrett because Garrett is the famous master thief. Mm-hmm. So they they come after you yeah. because they know it was you. I that that would be Again, awesome. So if I you keep do, going back to the it, challenge rooms, it's the easy way out. It, it is. <laughs> so, you know, if if you're doing your maniac run where your your assassination run where you're killing everyone, yes, you are a monster and like everyone is terrified of you and your face is what? you know plastered on every on every telephone pole. Oh. Everybody's out you know out for your blood. <laughs> On every milk jug. Mm-hmm. You gotta but rip those posters do, off the wall. I like the idea yeah. of like doing something sneaky, and then no one ever sees you, and no one ever spots you. And so, like, like you read newspapers, it's you like, listen to news reports, and people are like, "What the like, like why does stuff keep disappearing in this city?" And like, someone you know, stole all my cups. Like, yeah, <laughs> like they're like they don't know if it's birds or raccoons. Yeah. Or like, hippos. Do we have a problem with rodents? I'm picturing, I'm picturing a, city? A, a thief in like the world of The Sims that just steals really innocuous stuff. Like, <laughs> my you bird kind, feeder's you kind, gone. Are gone. You kind of do. You steal a lot of uh, my shoelaces. Sil- you steal a lot of silverware in Thief. <laughs> my shoelaces are gone. Magnifying glass is missing. A yeah. Stealth game Where's, involving what? the underwear gnomes. Honey, honey, have you, <laughs> seen, have you seen the forks? Where have all our forks gone? <laughs> We've got plenty of spoons and knives, but no, spoons. no forks. They're all gone. Why forks? <laughs> they left the sporks, know, just, They're shiny. Garrett, yeah, Garrett, has, yeah, a Garrett problem. has a problem. Garrett has a problem with shiny things. And the forks were the shiniest. I like that. Oh, Oh, I like that too. So you, so now we're just talking about game. Now we're doing game pitches. So another aspect, <laughs> another aspect of this game is no. So you're a thief, but you actually have a clinical problem with it. Um, you cannot leave an area until you've stolen everything. Like it's just a compulsive yeah. need. Like, and your character gets agitated, which makes them louder <laughs> and like le- you're less Angrier. able to control them if you're not actively stealing things. And so there's this literally a kleptomaniac need. game. <laughs> Pretty much. I'm yeah, afraid. there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Klepto. Um, one game I forgot, and I don't know if either of you played this, but looking back, one of the bigger stealth experiences that I really enjoyed was the Riddick game, uh, Attack on or Escape from Butcher Bay. I played a little bit of it. I mean, that was a big. You h- hid in the shadows endlessly in that game, and it was it. It never got old for me. Um, I don't know if that game. game. I don't know if that game holds up really well, but it did a good job of letting you know, like the screen would change color based on whether or not you're in the shadows, and I thought it communicated yeah. that stuff really well, which may still. 
I may still top thief and dishonored as far as communicating that info to you, but I think there might be something something along those lines too. Um, yeah, the uh, Aaron was talking about. There's a uh, the noise that thief makes when you're being watched. Mm-hmm. Like you, after a while, because you need to experiment with it to figure out all the uh, the tells that the game yeah. is, is has. Mm-hmm. Um, but that that's one of them that um, you learn real quick because like a big part of like sneaking around is I don't know if there's someone behind me. Yeah. Or I'm watching this yeah. guy. I don't know where that other guard is. And all of a sudden, you'll hear that, <laughs> that and it'll get yeah. louder. And you're like, oh shit, some, somebody sees me. Some dude is staring. Somebody's yeah, somebody's walking up onto me. And then yeah, there's Creeping. like, um, there's visual, there's icons that appear over their head. There's like, um, I really like the interface in that game. Yeah, but it's cool because you shut all that stuff off. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you turn the Which monitor off. That's how you play. That's you can, sh- yeah. You can, yeah. You can, shut off. Sc- you can shut your screen off and just go by uh, audio cues. I mean, yeah. <laughs> the ultimate stealth game would be something where you actually have to hide the fact that you're playing it from other people. <laughs> so. It's 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 past your bedtime. Uh-huh. <laughs> yep. You better not have that PlayStation on in there. And actually, like, it's hidden on your computer. You can't tell if it's it's installed if unless you really know it's there. Mm. Like that's the <laughs> stealth games just have to go completely meta now. That's, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't know if we we solved anything tonight, but it's we're kind of at an interesting point with this genre. I feel like Thief, like I said, was one of those franchises. It was kind of one of the originals that hadn't been revisited yet, and now we're in a post Thief world, a post Dishonored world, and a bunch of Metal Gear games are going to come out again, and Assassin's Creed, you know. Pirates we'll are awesome, die. but you know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The best thing that can happen now is more AAA titles are like, hey, why don't we give a different option to complete a level? Yeah, and you don't, ha- you don't have to kill anyone. You, I you just want to, you can just sneak around everybody and get in. And, and it's the- okay to promote that stuff, and it's okay to like, yeah. you know, if you have to a have non killing your- a non killing agenda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> it's, what, it's that's what this is really. Okay. That's what this was really about. Too much, too much killing in video games. Too much violence too much in violence. video games. Yeah, Take the guns away. yeah, guys. Obama <laughs> <laughs> taking my oh, man, taking man. my guns away. <laughs> I think that's going to do it for tonight's episode. Aaron, Jordan, thanks for hiding out with me. It's, 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 Ugh, I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the Chris Checkpoint will be back again with protect, another, another protect episode. Protect your shinies. I'm coming. I'm coming for them. I, I really want a stealth game just to be called Chinese or that. Shinies. that yeah. <laughs> shinies. Guild Wars 2. Yeah. Uh, we'll be back with another episode real soon. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time. Watch your forks. <laughs>